Hey sisters, I just want to say real quick before the video starts, thank you guys for 500k. We're growing pretty fast, boys. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a wild one. It's great. You'll love it. So in the last few years, Instagram has been getting some heat because on their app, there's a lot of fakeness going on. There's a lot of models and influencers who appear to be these perfect, attractive people living perfect lives. But in reality, behind the scenes, a lot of it is all fake. Just ask my girl Tana. She knows her way around Photoshop. But today, we are taking a look at one girl who fabricated her entire life. Hi, genies, and welcome back to my channel. Dear Queen of Hearts. I'ma grow you white roses So you can learn to be kind Taking a heart To all bodies for sake So you can learn to be kind And, the and I'm tired of people telling me what they want for me. This is what Lily Jean wants. You understand? This is Lily Jean. She's an 18 year old girl from New York who is a Instagram influencer. I didn't find much history on her, but she started her Instagram page around 2016 and over a very short time, she has gained a massive following. She mainly posts about makeup. She's like a makeup guru. <laughs> Although as a male who doesn't wear makeup, but for some reason watches a lot of makeup videos on YouTube, they're entertaining, don't judge me. Her makeup skills seemed kind of basic to me. I like to start from here. When you hear about a makeup guru with a huge following, you expect professional skills, but I noticed Lily's work was kind of subpar compared to a lot of other makeup artists who had a lot less followers, so that was strange. As I looked more into Lily, I found out on her website she's apparently a self-proclaimed actor who's been training in the arts since she was very young, but again, looking at her skills, they didn't really wow me. Do you know what I intend? I intend to be queen. When I grow up, I am going to be the biggest queen there ever was. I was getting some Disney channels. Channel vibes. And it was the same exact thing with art. I read that she was this master artist that's been doing it since she was 11, but when I finally found her art, um, <laughs> Little Mermaid was looking a little botched. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, Lily Jean, but I just found it really weird because on websites and in articles, Lily was portrayed kind of like this prodigy child who had all of these amazing talent, but then looking into her work, it didn't seem to match up with the hype. But it didn't matter if her talents were a bit misleading because she did have this massive audience. You don't need skills to gain followers as long as people like you. And since she did have thousands of followers, brands were constantly working with Lily. She was receiving sponsorships, she was being invited to very exclusive events, she was on a billboard for CoverGirl, she was in a Teen Vogue magazine. Honestly, she was living the dream. She made a career out of playing with makeup and going to parties. Sounds like a good life to me, except the parties, I don't like people. But a problem arises with Lily when people start to question who this girl is. Now you may be thinking, if Lily is this extremely popular social media star, how am I just hearing about this girl in a dumb priming video? Just as a quick comparison, Laura Lee, who is a household name in the beauty community, for good or bad, Let this be about me. It's not about my family. It's about me. She has... <laughs> <laughs> she has 2 million Instagram followers, so therefore, logically, Lily Jean with 1 million followers should be known at least a little bit in the community. But no one knows who she is. Do you know who she is? Have you heard of her? I guarantee not. And that's what started this crazy rabbit hole. One day, a random person came across Lily's page and like you, was confused as to who this girl was. So he started a Reddit post to try to get some answers. Now a logical conclusion to Lily's unknown fame would be that she bought followers and likes and that's why no one heard of her. And that's actually what the Reddit thread did find fairly quickly. I'm gonna be brief so I don't bore you guys with the statistics of growth, but <laughs> but just looking at her stats, she went from gaining 150,000 followers in one month, which then drops to 6K the next month and then goes back up to 150K, which is a huge red flag because followers shouldn't fluctuate that much. I also found a time frame where she went from receiving 20,000 likes on her post to only receiving about 100 in like a week, which heavily implies she stopped buying likes at one 
one point and her engagement rate is below 1% meaning only 10,000 of her followers are active on her account. I could go into the comment pods I saw, the cross media deviation, etc. But that's too nerdy. I'm, I'm not even about that life. I'm, I'm a reformed nerd. <laughs> and just to be clear, legally, I'm not saying, wink, wink, that Lily is buying followers. Mainly because Venus Angelic's mom is already trying to sue me for slander at the moment. Um, and I can only handle one crazy lawsuit at a time. But I can say her account is filled with fake followers. There's not a doubt in my mind. So this seemed like a simple case of someone buying followers, which happens all the time on social media. And honestly, it's not that interesting and I won't even care. But this story gets a lot stranger. <laughs> The fake followers explained how no one had heard of Lily, but they didn't explain how she was working with so many brands. Brands are usually pretty good at sussing out the fakes and they usually won't work with accounts that have low engagement, but Lily was doing all these massive brand deals. She was constantly going to events and they all looked legit. But if you start looking closer at Lily's posts, you start to notice some problems. For example, the photo of Lily at the Met Gala. Once zoomed in, you would start to notice some weird distortion, which this is a sign of photo. Photoshop. And after looking around, someone was able to find the exact photo it was photoshopped from. Lily covered up Katy Perry. That's, that's a war crime. The Teen Vogue magazine Lily was on the cover of also looked photoshopped and it actually had to be because funny enough, Teen Vogue doesn't even print magazines anymore. And then there was a makeup collab where Lily Jean had made lipsticks with a company called Bite Beauty. She made an entire vlog of her making the lipsticks, picking out the colors, and at the end she claimed people could go buy her collection. Wow! That is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. But the thing is, Bite Beauty is a place where anyone can go make lipsticks. It's like a Build-A-Bear for makeup. Why hasn't Build-A-Bear done that? Build-A-Bear, you need to expand, boy. No one wants bears anymore. They want hairy lipsticks. <laughs> Lily tried to pass this off as her old collection so much that the actual company had to tell her to stop because it wasn't a collection. This girl just went to Build-A-Bear Santa's workshop, made some lipsticks, and tried to say it was a collab. Crazy. And the more you look, the more you just start to see bizarre stuff on her page. Like she has a bunch of photos of her acting shocked in public with a caption saying that the paparazzi caught her. Girl, no one knows you. You don't have paparazzi. Your mama take those photos. We both know. The most shocking thing to me was that her mom was not only going along with the lies, but she was actually participating in it. Her mom also had an account and she would be posting fake photos to feed all of these lies. On the billboard. <laughs> Attached to the cover girl store in Times Square, oh my God! New York. Oh. Congratulations, baby. Correct me if I'm wrong, but a parrot is supposed to teach you right from wrong. Like Timmy, don't eat bugs. That's bad. Timmy, don't pick your nose. That's gross. Timmy, don't scam people into thinking you have followers for free PR and money. That's bad. But Lily's mom was fully helping her daughter create this fake life to mislead everyone. <laughs> Now this is where the story becomes a real life Black Mirror episode. So we already established the fake followers and the fake posts, but the lies don't stop there. So if you look at Lily's page and you venture into the comments and you sift past the verified comment pods, you would see two distinct types of accounts commenting. The first type were fan accounts. There were dozens and dozens of Lily Jean fan accounts that would comment and repost images of Lily, but these accounts were weird because they all had nearly the same username. They all posted very similar content and once again I checked and they were all also filled with fake followers and on top of that how does she have all of these fan accounts if she doesn't really have any fans so it appears like Lily created dozens of fan accounts of herself to give her comments and make it seem like she had a lot of fame I don't know if that's narcissistic crazy or sad maybe all of the above but it gets even worse. <laughs> the second type of accounts commenting are what I call friend accounts. There was like five to 10 accounts Lily would always chat with in every single post. And at a quick glance, it just looked like a normal conversation between friends. Not that I know what that looks like. But once again, looking closer into these accounts, they just appeared off. The main problem with these accounts were that they were all using fake photos they got off Google and they were trying to claim it was them. And also these accounts would randomly post pictures of Lily with no content 
context at all, or they would use her hashtag in posts that weren't even relevant to her. They were accounts made to look real, but they were just being used to give Lily engagement and act like her friend. But the psychotic part is not that Lily appears to have an entire network of fake friends and fans that she communicates with. No, that's not the psychotic part. The psychotic part is that every single one of these accounts has their own backstory. For example, this one is a Muslim girl who's struggling with conforming to her religion. This one is an unapologetic trans boy. This one is James, Lily's best friend who has a gay husband named Mario and is very good at design. And if you haven't picked up on it, these accounts are all very stereotypical of the fake people they portray. The gay guy's good at design, the Muslim girl dislikes her religion, the trans boy says yes all the time, and there is just dozens and dozens and dozens of these accounts all behaving the same, all with fake followers, all posting pictures of Lily. It's crazy! Lily copyright this. Sell it to Black Mirror. But the worst account I came across is Shaniqua, who is the most racist stereotype of an African American girl I can think of. The entire page is filled with bad grammar, exaggerated speech, and, and just plain racist stuff that I don't even want to say or show. Since this has gone public, most of these accounts have gone private to hide their posts, but Shaniqua has stayed open, I assume because they lost the password <laughs> and they can't get back in. So you can go view that right now. I Be warned, it's very racist. Now at this point, I don't really know what I was feeling. I was trying desperately to try to put myself in Lily's shoes to see how, how does one person get to this point in their life where everything they portray is a lie. I think faking followers is one thing because you're doing that for fame. Faking brand deals is one thing because you're trying to appear like you're important. But for someone to allegedly fake an entire group of friends who you pretend to hang out with, you're not doing that for fame or clout. You're doing that to solely make it appear as if you had friends and a social life, meaning you must not actually have any friends, which I found to be very sad. <laughs> you have a friend in yourself, okay? Hi, friend. <laughs> yes, this sounds so lonely and sad, but I gotta be honest with you, I am happier without these weirdos surrounding me. What Lily and her mom are doing is not right. But while looking into Lily, I actually found out she was homeschooled and it seems like she only has her manager mom in her life. The previous manager mom I covered is currently trying to sue me, so <laughs> we know how that goes. <laughs> so I can't help but feel a little bad for Lily. I just have this gut feeling, a twink intuition, some might say, that Lily's mom is playing a major role in a lot of this. When this story first blew up, Lily was receiving a lot of backlash and she actually began losing a lot of her followers rapidly. People started mass reporting her account and Instagram started clearing out all of the fake followers. She lost over 200,000 followers, which that's crazy. It also appeared like brands were dropping their affiliate codes with her. It was bad news bears. <laughs> it was for them. The main reason people are so mad is not that Lily cheated her way to the top, it's that by doing this, she is now stealing opportunities from actually talented makeup artists. There's a lot of great artists out there who struggle to get an audience, and when brands are giving out PR or they're looking for sponsorships, they only care about numbers. They don't care about your talent. So Lily, with her subpar work and the little, <laughs> the little mermaid gremlin looking thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> She's... <laughs> She's stealing opportunities from people who actually worked hard mastering their skills, and it's unfair. When the backlash first came, Lily and her mom tried playing it cool. They tried denying all the claims, and Lily made a whole video trying to debunk everything. Hello, everybody. So yes, this is my official statement, and uh, we begin. In the video, she came across very arrogant. She had this attitude of, I know I'm right. I got all the facts. Mm-hmm. Thank you, next. But she didn't actually debunk any of the claims at all. <laughs> the video was like one of my ninth grade presentations that I did 10 minutes before class because I forgot about it. I didn't forget about it. I just procrastinated until the last day and then <sighs> getting flashbacks. Why, why? I mean, I know they're jealous of PR. And her attitude is actually the thing that stands out most to me about Lily. She just has this way of talking that feels very fake and forced. And like she's on this pedestal looking down at the viewers. It's that, that, that's the vibe I get from her. I'm not trying to tear her down, but I know she's going to see this. And I'm, I'm trying to help her realize why people have a problem with her. Her entire persona feels like an empty character. And when you try to force empathy and you try to force emotions and happiness and all the things she's 
he's forcing. People can see right through that. People, people can see if you're fake, unless you're a good manipulator. If you want people to believe you, you just gotta sit down and be real. You know, I've done red before and like, it's like not my thing, you know? No. I really wish the video ended here because this could have been a nice redemption story in the making. I like a good comeback story. But unfortunately, soon later, Lily and her mom began going on this massive tirade against the haters. Choose who I want. This is what I want. And I'm tired of people telling me what they want for me. This is what Lily Jean wants. You understand? Anyone that talked about the story was classified as a bully and Lily and her mom would engage in a lot of pointless arguments with people that just made them look even worse. The main incident was with another influencer named Lore. She was a girl who came across Lily's story and was very intrigued by it, like a lot of people are. It's crazy. So she ended up making a simple tweet asking her followers if they've heard of her. Now Lily and her mom somehow came across this and they started fighting with Laura. It's a long and petty argument if I'm honest, I don't even care about it. But this Twitter feud ends with an ambiguous tweet by Lily's mom saying, Lauren, just wait what we have in store for you and your family. Play dirty? I play lower. Now remember, Lily and her mom are victims of bullying here. <laughs> They are no way aggressors, they're peaceful people being targeted. But the crazy part is, this threat comes true a week later when Lore's Twitter is suspended for violating rules against spam and manipulation. Which I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like she got banned for using fake accounts and doing something shady like that, right? And who do we know who uses a bunch of <coughs> fake <coughs> accounts? <coughs> I don't know. Could be anyone. Lily and her mom have denied that they tampered with Lore's account, but funny enough, a few other accounts that were very outspoken about Lily and her mom were also permanently suspended at the same time for the same reason. You guys can come to your own conclusion. I'm not implying anything. <coughs> God, that cough's been bothering me all day. <laughs> I'm not getting sued. <laughs> In current time, Lily and her mom are still buckling down that these rumors are all false, and they actually have been teaming up with a few small streamers who believe their story, which is perfectly fine. If you disagree with my opinion, if you think Lily is not faking anything, and you think she's a victim of bullying, you can express that. We can all have different opinions and discuss them peacefully. The only problem is, one of the streamers, Danger Zone, is some kind of shady fella, because in his live stream defending Lily, he actually maliciously doxed a fellow fellow creator named Creepshow, who was also outspoken about Lily. I can go ahead and just click this right here and go boop, 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 boop. And then I can go ahead and get her email address. So let's just go ahead and check out what her email address, smcreepshower at gmail.com. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that right there into a nice little program that I have. Now luckily, he got the docs wrong, but he was also trying to get her phone number through her emails, he was trying to use programs to find more info on her. He's just an all around shady fellow. If you can't get your point across without having to threaten or scare someone, then your point must not be that strong. And Lily and her mom were cheering this man on the entire time he was doing it. There's nothing I can say. They're only hurting their reputation by supporting someone like this. This story is just so sad to me because this whole situation could have all been over if Lily and her mom just came clean and were honest with people. But they are standing their ground and they're defending this facade they created. And unfortunately, it's ruining any chance Lily has at a future in the makeup world that she desperately wants to be a part of. No brands want to work with them. Them. No one wants to associate with them. All I can say is best of luck, Lily. I don't think you're evil. I just think you're being misled. Oh, what a start. Inside out and upside down. No stress. I'ma clean up this mess. La, like Alice.